I wanted to quickly give you a small flip through of the sketch of one of my sketchbooks that I've been working in. Um, I started this one last year in August and I've barely drawn in it so far. Um, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of actually uh, just drawing more for fun um, instead of just I, I had a, a problem where I would just draw something that other people wanted to see or try to make stickers when I wasn't feeling motivated to make stickers, I guess. And I haven't drawn just for like fun in a long time. Um, so that's what I want. I just want to show you some of the things I've been doodling in here. Um, so that was obviously a while ago, but more recently, um, I came up with this clown girl, uh, the first time I drew her was for a sticker, but then I, you know, played around with the design a little bit. These are from old um, sketchbooks that I just cut out and put in here to kind of... I find it's always good to kind of, like, scrapbookify a sketchbook or just, like, play around in a sketchbook because then it takes the pressure off making something perfect in it. Um, these are just stickers of things I've done digitally that I want to keep somewhere physically, too. Um, this is me... Uh, throwing out some ideas for characters um and I really like this page because I did all of the coloring on this page with um these mild liners um and I think it turned out really great considering <laughs> that um well the outline was done in my Tombow but um it's fun to just play around with things and not take things too seriously because then you find out you might just like what what you come up with or what your brain just does, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, all of these were done with either Tombows or the Mild Liners. Um, even this one, which that one you can kind of tell a little bit. But I think it gives it, like, a really cool look. Um, came up with some clown dudes. Um, no story behind them. I just wanted to draw some clowns, and that's what I came up with. And then I just kept drawing them. And I was trying to figure out how to draw uh, Transformers. This is Cyclonus and Tailgate. I'm obsessed with them. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to try to draw them. Um, this one is heavily referenced to one of the um, comic panels. Um, and I can see that I forgot a line here. Hang on. That's going to bother me if I don't fix it right now. Um, but yeah, it's I am heavily referencing while I'm trying to figure out how to draw them, which I think is okay because, I mean, you have to reference something to learn something. Um, but I'm not beating myself over the fact that I can't draw it perfectly yet, so it's okay. And then I also drew this um, the other day, and I'm really proud of it. I am almost scared to line and color it because I don't want to mess it up. I did color it digitally. Uh, I'm so scared of messing up this page, though. I scanned it, I colored it digitally, so really I have no reason to be scared, but I'm so scared of, like, fucking it up, dude. I <laughs> but yeah, so I've got all of this left still, but all of this was done in the past, like, week maybe, uh, just because I just, I just decided I just wanted to have fun again, so that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in this week and just like kind of show you some cards that I got recently. Um, they're Transformers cards. I'm pretty sure they're from Magic the Gathering. I don't play really, um, but I just like collecting the cards. I don't know why. I just am fascinated by little cards. Um, so I just wanted to show you some ones that I got. Um, they're Transformers, so um, maybe not for everybody, but I really enjoy them. Megatron. This one has Ratchet and Cliffjumper, which are two of my favorites. So I was really happy to find that one. Another Ratchet one. Swindle. I love this guy. I love his big gleeby bug eyes. He's so cute. Um, Starscream. I'd had this one before, but I just wanted to also show you the Starscream one. Um, and then this Grimlock one. He's really cool. And then Thundercracker. He's cool too. Um, I really like... Um, the jets they're called seekers um they're some of my favorites in the entire series <laughs> i 
And so I got those, but then I also got um, some like specific character cards. Um, and when I got them, I wasn't expecting them to be quite as big as they are, but I am not complaining at all because they're so fucking cool. Um, they're kind of like shiny. I don't know if you can tell, but they're kind of like foiled and shiny. And it'll have them in their robot mode on one side and then their alt mode on the other side. So Starscream is like a jet. Um, and it's really cool. I keep them in these sleeves just because I don't want them to mess up. Um, so I got Starscream and I got two of Deadlock because he's one of my favorites and there's hardly ever anything for him. Um, he's also called, he's Drift or Deadlock. Uh, he is such an interesting character and I love him more than anything. Um, he's just really cool. And then I also got Ratchet, because I, I can't not get Ratchet, because he's one of my favorites. There's his alt mode of an ambulance. Um, and this one's really cool. So this is Astro Train. He, um, he's a triple changer, which means his he's got two alt modes instead of just one. So this side is his robot side. Um, and then it's cool because this card folds to have both of his alt modes. So there's the train, and then there's the spaceship. Uh, it's so cool. And then there's him. <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted to share those because I've been nerding out over them. Like, really, like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's, like, the kind of excitement that it feels like a punch to the chest, if that makes any sense. I just love them so much. <laughs> so here's a shot of all of them together just because I like them. They're so cool. I love them. <laughs> So I wanted to quickly show you my new bag that I got. I talked about it in the last video, but I didn't really show it well. Um, so this is it. Uh, I had to put pins and keychains on it. Uh, some people might uh, not <laughs> like pins going through the leather. Uh, but it's okay, because I have to decorate it, or it's not mine, if that makes sense. Um, so I've got a couple of pins here. This one is from Boston, and then this one is from Paper Haunt, and the other three I think I just got like online or at Hot Topic or something. Um, Zeus, sorry, he's he snorts really loud. Um, I've got a Sukuna keychain here, and a whale shark keychain that I got from the Georgia Aquarium when we went. Um, I like it a lot. Um, so already, as you can tell, that I've got a pocket here. My phone slides really nicely into that one when I need to just slip it somewhere real fast. Um, it's got two zipper pockets here in the front. A button pocket here where I keep, like, some fidget stuff. <laughs> um, it's got, of course, your big pocket here in the middle. That's where I keep my brush and some uh, ibuprofen, my wallet, and um, a reusable bag to take places with me. This big pocket has a couple of, like, of the small, like, slide-in pockets and a little zipper pocket here. And then there's also two of these zip pockets on the sides, which fit my rings planner and my Hobonichi, my sketchbook. It, this thing fits so much stuff in it, it's awesome. And then there's also a little, um, pocket here in the back that I'm not using currently, but... That's just crazy that I have pockets that I'm not using because this thing is so spacious. Um, and the the strap, it can adjust. So if I want to hold it just over my shoulder or if I want to make it longer and make it a crossbody. Um, it's just really cool. I think I found the perfect bag. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, yeah. He's licking his foot. That's what you're hearing if you can hear him. <laughs> Zeus. Crazy boy. Mm -hmm.